Have you ever wondered how rare your personality is? Or if you're one of the rarest types out there? According to the famous Myers-Briggs personality type indicator, there are a total of 16 different personality types. And of those 16, some are definitely more rare than others. So what are the rarest personality types? And how rare is your personality type? In this video, we will give you a brief overview of each of the 16 personality types and the percentage they make up of the global population. Before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Let's start. Understanding the four letters in Myers-Briggs. To understand the Myers-Briggs personality types, you need to understand the four letters that make up each type, where each letter represents a different preference. These four letters stand for E for extroversion, I for introversion, S for sensing, T for thinking, J for judging, E for extroversion, N for intuition, F for feeling, J for judging, and P for perceiving. Based on your preferences, you will be classified as one of the 16 personality types. For example, someone who is introverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving would be an INFP personality type. Now that you know the basics of the Myers-Briggs, let's take a look at the rarest personality types. Number 16, ISFJ, the protector, 13.8%. The ISFJ personality type is introverted, sensing, feeling, and judging. They are gentle caretakers who live in a world of possibilities. One of the main strengths of the ISFJ is their ability to take care of others. They are the ones who are always quick to lend a helping hand, and they're always looking for ways to make things better for those around them. Number 15, ESFJ, the caregiver, 12%. The ESFJ personality type is extroverted, sensing, feeling, and judging. They are outgoing people who live in a world of harmony. ESFJs are known for their caring nature and their ability to bring people together. They're the ones who always know how to make everyone feel comfortable, and they're always quick to lend a helping hand. They also encourage people to be their best, and often have a hard time believing anything bad about the people who are close to them. Number 14. ISTJ, The Inspector, 11.6% If you are an ISTJ, you are introverted, sensing, thinking, and judging. You live in a world of facts and details. People with the ISTJ personality type value tradition and follow the rules. They're hard workers who always put their duty first. ISTJs are loyal people who can be counted on to do what they say they will do. They're also patient people who are able to handle a lot of stress. Number 13, ISFP, the artist, 8.8%. If you are an ISFP, you are introverted, sensing, feeling, and perceiving. You live in a world of sensations and feelings. ISFPs are artists who enjoy exploring their own creativity. They're also gentle people who have a strong appreciation for nature. People with the ISFP personality type are also very loyal, and they're always true to their own values. They tend to be quiet people who enjoy spending time alone. Number 12, ESTJ, the director, 8.7%. ESTJs are the consummate organizers. They excel at taking charge and putting systems in place to get things done efficiently and effectively. ESTJs are highly logical, detail-oriented, and analytical. ESTJs often find themselves in leadership roles because of their take-charge attitude and ability to get things done. They're often the ones organizing people and resources to achieve a goal. ESTJs are loyal and supportive, but they can also be inflexible and unyielding. They value tradition and order, and they have a strong sense of duty. Number 11, ESFP, the performer, 8.5%. ESFPs are outgoing, fun-loving people. They enjoy being the center of attention, and they're usually the life of the party. ESFPs are spontaneous, energetic, and enthusiastic. They live in the moment and enjoy experiencing new things. They are often drawn to careers in entertainment or fashion because of their love of the spotlight. ESFPs are also good at sales and marketing because of their people skills. 
ESFPs can be impulsive, and they may have difficulty following through on projects. They're also known for being flaky and sometimes even unreliable. Number 10. ENFP, the champion, 8.1%. Few personality types are as inspiring and charismatic as those with the ENFP personality type. People with this personality type embody the gifts of charisma and confidence, and their infectious enthusiasm drives others to turn their own dreams into reality. People with the ENFP personality type are natural leaders, using their charm and persuasion to motivate others to follow their lead. They strive for autonomy and independence, but they also recognize the value of teamwork and collaboration. ENFPs are known for being adaptable and flexible, able to roll with the punches and adjust their plans on the fly. Number 9. ISTP, The Crafter, 5.4% The crafter is the master of all things mechanical. If it can be taken apart and put back together, they can do it and probably faster and better than anyone else. ISTPs are highly logical and analytical, but they prefer to work with their hands rather than their heads. They're often drawn to careers in the trades or as mechanics, engineers, or technicians. ISTPs are independent and self-reliant, and they prefer to work alone. They're not big on rules or tradition, and they prefer to do things their own way. ISTPs can be impulsive and sometimes even reckless. Number 8. INFP, The Mediator, 4.4% According to Myers-Briggs, people who identify with the INFP personality are introverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving. Mediators are idealistic, compassionate dreamers who care deeply about making the world a better place. They have strong convictions and are very independent-minded, standing up for what they believe in. While they are often gentle and compassionate people, they can also be fierce defenders of their values. Mediators are some of the rarest personality types, making up only 4% of the population. Number 7. ESTP, The Persuader, 4.3% ESTP personality types are outgoing, charming, and persuasive. They're natural salespeople, and they have the ability to talk their way into or out of anything. ESTPs are also risk-takers, and they thrive on adventure. While ESTPs can be successful in a wide variety of careers, they're often drawn to careers in sales, marketing, or business. ESTPs are also popular as politicians, lawyers, and public relations professionals. They are excellent communicators. Number 6. INTP, The Thinker, 3.3% People with this personality type are introverted, intuitive, thinking, and perceiving. They are deep thinkers, and they like to spend time alone thinking about the world and how it works. INTPs are often drawn to careers in science or philosophy. While they can be highly intelligent people, they may have difficulty communicating their ideas to others. INTPs can also be perceived as aloof or arrogant. They may have difficulty with emotional expression. Number 5. ENTP, The Debater, 3.2% With a 3.2% global distribution, ENTPs are the fifth rarest personality type. ENTPs are highly intelligent and quick-witted individuals who enjoy nothing more than a good debate. They love to explore new ideas and possibilities and are constantly looking for ways to improve upon existing systems. ENTPs are also natural leaders, although they are more likely to lead through persuasion and logic than by force of personality. Number 4. ENFJ, The Giver, 2.5% At number 4, we have the ENFJ personality type, otherwise known as The Giver. If you're an ENFJ, congratulations! You're part of a very rare group of people with only about 2.5% of the population sharing your personality type. ENFJs are known for their giving nature. They're always the first to offer help or support, and they love making other people happy. They're also great communicators, with a knack for understanding how other people are feeling. Number 3. INTJ, The Architect 2.1% Coming up to the top 3 most rare personalities is INTJ, 
the architect. Out of the 16 personalities, INTJ is the third most rare type, with a percentage of only 2.1%. INTJs are known for their intelligence, originality, and analytical thinking. They are independent thinkers who like to solve problems in their own unique way. INTJs are often described as cold, logical, and unemotional. This is because they prefer to make decisions based on logic and reason rather than emotion. INTJs are known for being loyal friends and partners. They're analytical and logical, always looking for new ways to improve their relationships, even though they might not show it. Number 2. ENTJ, the Commander, 1.8% At number 2, we have ENTJ, the Commander. ENTJs are extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and judging personality types. They are natural leaders who are confident and assertive. True ENTJs make up only about 1.8% of the population, which makes them one of the rarest personality types. They're known for being decisive, ambitious, and strategic. They are always looking for ways to improve and grow, both personally and professionally. Number 1. INFJ, the Advocate, 1.5%. The rarest personality type is the INFJ, the advocate. They are not called advocates for no reason. They are the idealists of the personality world and make up only about 1.5% of the population. Advocates have a unique combination of qualities that allow them to see the world in a completely different way than other personality types. They are compassionate, imaginative, and often have a strong sense of intuition. They often feel misunderstood because they are so different from the majority. And what makes them even more special is that they are able to use their intuition to make logical decisions. They are the rarest personality type for a reason. Final Thoughts As you can see, some personality types are more rare than others. But at the same time, there are many similarities between the different types. In fact, some people may find that they identify with more than one type. The most important thing is to remember that each personality type brings its own unique set of strengths and weaknesses. So whatever your personality type, you can be sure that you have something special to offer the world. Let us know in the comments section below which personality type you think you are. We would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out our recommended videos that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.